Our next speaker is Susan Mitros, Associate Vice Provost and Deputy CIO for Technology Enhanced Learning, Professor of Visual Design and Education <laughs> at the University of Southern California. Susan. We know that our students have different ways of accessing knowledge today as depicted in this juxtaposition of old and new at USC's main library. Technology has supported our students the opportunity to expand the definition of knowledge to encompass a mix of multimedia content, a plethora of interactive entertainment options, and a new way to network and also to communicate. Uh, in my 20 slides, I will take you on a tour of where students hang out online. I queried um, undergraduates at USC, I posted to listserv and Twitter, and I polled my 886 Facebook friends on about their online habits of their students, their kids, and not to give my age away, their grandchildren, on where they like to hang out online. Um, I received almost 100 responses and visited over 40 sites just to distill them down to a collection of 15 online web or mobile sites that, have, that show online activities. I organize these sites into five categories, and they serve as a constellation of overlapping sites, products, processes, and media modalities. Number one, hands up, is Facebook. Facebook describes itself as a social utility that helps people communicate more efficiently with their friends, their family, and their co-workers. Facebook boasts about almost 600 million active users worldwide. About 70% of Facebook users come from outside of the United States. Um, students are a big audience. They've abandoned Friendster and MySpace. The st statistics prove that our students are still flocking to Facebook. The 18 to 24 year olds make up about 30% of the US user base, which is currently Facebook's biggest growing demographic. However, the 35 plus uh, represents more than 60% of the entire user base. Texting refers to the exchange of brief written messages, images, video, sounds over the mobile phone. One student prefers texting to talking because, as he says, a uh, phone call is just too sticky. He went on to text. You run the risk of being trapped into a long conversation or put on the spot because you have to answer a question now. <laughs> Courseware, location-based, mobile-based platforms are growing in popularity with students. It's how they invite and find each other in real space. Courseware like Yelp and Gowalla is a popular service that rewards its users by giving them badges, honorary titles, and an occasional special offer based on the frequency of checking in to their favorite haunts. The web is all about content sharing. Uh, YouTube's mission is for you to publish and shape the world through video. Broadcast yourself. Not only do students watch videos, but they also now produce videos. YouTube receives over 2 billion views a day, and 70% of that uh, traffic comes out from outside of the United States. YouTube's not the only video site popular with our students. Mega Video is an online video community allowing millions of people to discover, watch, and share online videos. Unlike YouTube, Mega Video offers free and premium online video storage and provides video publishers an option to earn money through a rewards program and also in video advertising. The internet is a great source of music. Of course, there are e commerce sites like iTunes and personalized internet radio sites like Pandora, but then there's also Groove Shark, an internationally available online music search engine. It allows for uh, users to search for it and stream and upload music free of charge and it can be played immediately or added to a playlist. Lots of students mention an up-and-coming content sharing site called Tumblr. Tumblr is, hosted through, is a hosted microblogging platform that allows users to post text, images, video, links, and auto into their Tumble log. It lets them share just about anything, with anybody, anytime, wherever they happen to be, on whichever device they choose. I was particularly curious about where our students get their news. We know it's not newspapers or TV or radio. They tend to congregate on online community-based content aggregators such as Dig and Reddit. Reddit claims to be the voice of the internet, news before it happens. It serves as a source of web news and popular, it's popular in real time. So there's content sharing, but there's also content searching. No surprise is the most popular search engine on the web is Google. Google receives several hundred million queries each day through various, through various services. And they, uh, in addition to searching text, it includes image, video, news, shopping sites, books, blogs, discussion, and even more. While as popular as Google is, it's not the only game in town. A popular site with students is StumbleUpon, a discovery engine that uses peer sourcing and social networking 
principal to learn what you like so you see only what's of interest to you. It identifies photos, videos, web pages, recommended by friends with people who share your interests. Wikipedia has become the largest and most popular general reference work on the internet. When assigned a research paper or project to the disappointment of librarians and faculty, <laughs> students can press on accessing Wikipedia first, and sometimes exclusively. And of course, we all know not everything on Wikipedia is accurate or unbiased. <laughs> um, we move on to entertainment. Our students are not likely to subscribe to cable, satellite, or watch broadcast TV. When not sharing private pirated content, they download or stream on-demand TV shows and movies from the likes of Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, I'm sorry, uh, iTunes, Hulu, and now even Facebook. It's all about instant access, abundance on any device. Connected virtual online gaming is a huge part of many of our students' life. The most popular game is World of Warcraft by Blizzard Entertainment. WoW is a pay-to-play, massively multiplayer online role-playing game with about 12 million subscribers and has spawned numerous collateral sites and blogs. Sex sizzles online, especially for college kids. In a recent survey by Shape Magazine, young women reported that 50% watch hardcore porn online, 70% have sex to the partner, and been texting sexually explicit messages or photos of themselves, 10% have admitted to having Skype sex. I think they're really old. <laughs> a slew of sites have cropped up on a feature uh, that features self-deprecating humor. Something awful, text from last night, F my life are a few examples. F my life is a popular blog that publishes every day on unfortunate antidotes like you can have to anybody. <laughs> 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 Exhaustive. It is subjective and anecdotal, but I know for certain if I was to come back next year, show you the same list, these stars will align very, very differently. Thank you.